put to as my earthly God, and that's what I mean. <laughs> like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you are sleeping. It is definitely a great privilege for many patients to go through a drastic weight loss on my 600-pound life. Though Dr. Now is an expert in weight loss and diet planning, but some of the obese patients just aren't as grateful as others who succeeded. So, from cheating on their diet plan to being just being oddly rude to the show's host, we are going to take a look at the most ignorant stars of my 600-pound life. James King James King weighed in at a whopping 790 pounds when he arrived on the show, and he was actually the heaviest person to ever be featured on the show at the time. Not only this, he also had a severe case of a painful skin infection, cellulitis. Additionally, for his well-being, King's family had made some huge sacrifices which included his daughter dropping out of school to take care of him and his father also refinanced his home so he could get him to Houston. Do you know? James was one of those patients who were very delusional about their current health situation and didn't really help out that his wife supported this from James. In fact, while he was in the hospital under Dr. Now's supervision for his weight loss plan, his wife would bring James high-calorie foods that he requested. She was the one who was sneaking the food inside behind Dr. Now's back. When he was in the hospital to make some positive changes, therefore, instead of losing weight, he kept gaining weight very, very fast. Even when Dr. Now started helping King, he actually weighed in at 840 pounds. Dr. Now finally got to know what was going on and even told the couple, James and Lisa, that he found out that she was sneaking in food for James, when was in the hospital bed of course. But, James being manipulative and delusional tried to play this off. Not just that. He even cussed out Dr. Now and stated rudely that he had no idea why he was gaining so much weight. So, eventually Dr. Now told him to leave the program if he wasn't willing to continue. But on his follow-up episode, things had not seemed improved and just last year, on 3rd April 2020, James King unfortunately passed away. Shenny Murray Shenny Murray was first introduced to the viewers on My 600 Pound Life. She went through deeply sad and tragic incidents such as she had two miscarriages. In fact, her story was definitely one that made people feel pity for. That extreme experience she had can be extremely traumatic to not just to her but for her partner as well. Shenny started gaining drastic amounts of weight like many people on the show at a very young age just after she was sexually abused by her cousin. During these dark times, she turned to food as a way to comfort, but there was hope when Murray went to Dr. Now to seek his help, so she could get both her life and her weight back under control, but also she seemed unwilling and unable to stop her compulsively bad overeating habits, and as we all can guess that this sort of attitude did not turn out well. Despite all of her claims of gaining water weight, Dr. Now pointed out it was clearly not the case and due to her delusional behavior, Murray was never approved for weight loss surgery. In fact, she continued to go against Dr. Now's advice and started eating countless foods and junk. Therefore, she ended up gaining too much weight and eventually ended up dropping out of the show and leaving. Janine Mueller On my 600-pound life show, Janine's time was totally crazy. Between the arguing sessions with Dr. Now, and her continued munching on fast food all day. Her weird episodes definitely had some memorable and hilarious moments. For instance, once on a motorized scooter, she even went through a drive through so she could order a 20-piece chicken nugget meal. Yes, you heard IT right. Dr. Now actual weight loss plan for Janine was that she should try to lose a pound every day. But Janine being Janine began only losing about a pound a week. I mean, 20-piece chicken nuggets are much more important than her health. Right? Due to her non-serious attitude and unwillingness, Dr. Now really started losing faith in Janine, especially when she told him that she didn't even want to eat, because obviously it was a crystal clear white lie, as she should expect this to be a good problem not bad for her. However, Janine was pretty ignorant and rude to Dr. Now. She never seemed to follow his advice, but still, she ended up somehow losing 120 pounds, which is crazy. But still, she was not one of the most likable people to be a part of the show. So, that's why I have to give Janine a spot on this list today. Stephen Asante 
this contestant was most likely one of the most memorable guests to appear on my 600-pound life, due to the many controversies which actually took place when he was in the show. Stephen was a morbidly obese man, who appeared on the show alongside his twin brother Justin, who actually came on the show as he also needed to lose his weight. However, towards the doctors, Stephen became the face of his own rebellion and rudeness, as well as his ongoing battle with drugs. On the show, Stephen suffered a huge setback just after he was caught trying to obtain opioids while he was on the show. Well, due to that incident, stealing the pain medications, he was surely kicked out of the weight loss program and forced into rehab for treatment. But that decision made Stephen start to gain more weight, and at the last, he ended up reaching a whopping 750 pounds. He still continued to try and persuade the doctors to allow him to get weight loss surgery, however despite all this odd and strange behaviors of him. But overall, he was definitely one of the most rude and ignorant patients to appear on the show for sure. Angela Gutierrez It was almost apparent that Angela had been through a lot when she was first introduced to my 600-pound likes audience. Because, due to child endangerment and attempting to take her own life, she lost custody of her children. Not just that, to cope with her negative feelings and to deal with this incident, Gutierrez started binge eating and gaining weight from it. She weighed in at 608 pounds by the time she went to Dr. Now's place to seek his help with her ex-boyfriend. Although, the most interesting thing about her case was that she had already undergone weight loss surgery once in her life before that. It means, she had met with unsuccessful surgery before you can say. She simply didn't try her best and therefore, gained all her weight back. But this time, Dr. Now assigned her to lose her weight by following the strict diet regime he made for her. But despite all of his struggles and efforts, she completely failed by not even bothering to follow Dr. Now's advice or diet routine. So I think we all can say that she failed her first surgery and maybe going back for another one to be failed at. But this time, if you ask me, then I would say that this time she should have been a bit more motivated and prepared because it seems she fell back into. Nicole Louise. Nicole Louise already weighed an unbelievable 680 pounds at just 23 years of age. Not just that, she claimed that despite her efforts to try and lose weight, she was way too big to even take care of her own kids. In fact, there was a scene where she was hosed down by her husband to bathe because of her immobility. That's how you can guess how things were not going well although she tried her best. When Nicole started getting bigger, that was the time when she decided to see Dr. Now. Actually, her situation had gotten to the point where she not only feared for her life, but when she first arrived on the show, fear for her kids growing up around her increased. Nicole even had to rely on her own mother and two kids in order to get anywhere as she had trouble walking around. To even get fit through the bathroom door in her house, she was too big for that and therefore, she had to use a portable toilet in her own room. But despite this sort of condition, she didn't get motivated to stop eating and ended up gaining weight. Not just that, on her way to Houston to see Dr. Now, she was caught eating a Big Mac and fries in hope to help Nicole to lose 30 pounds for surgery. Dr. Now tried to tell her to stop and put her on a very strict diet. Nicole seemed to definitely struggle and even missed her and her husband's struggles to find a new job. To help cope with their feelings, she ate cheeseburgers during her diet. And since then things continued to go downhill by that time. Now it's safe to say that Nicole Louise did not try at all. Penny Sater One of the classic Zero Effort episodes was the appearance of the Penny Sater in Season 2. On her episode, she got famous as a speaker of a famous line, Nobody told me I had to lose weight when I got here. Well, she only lost about 35 pounds throughout her entire episode and was seen still sneaking food into the hospital despite getting gastric bypass. Therefore, I can say that she literally made zero effort to change her lifestyle, even getting up or moving. Even she had to be transported by a whole team for her checkup when she started skipping doctor's appointments. Well, at that point, she should have been walking and down to 250 pounds at the end of it all. But despite that, she somehow still managed to fool herself by claiming all that a personal victory. Doctor now accused her of being delusional for refusing to follow the exercise and diet regime and because of rigidness. She also went against all the suggestions and left the show eventually by moving to Maryland. 
Dr. Now even claimed that Penny's food addiction would not take much time and kill her in the future. Well, that's all guys for today. With most ignorant stars of my 600-pound life. Thank you for watching the video.